Huh. Huh. <laughs> well, now look at that. We made it to the Isles on my wings, thanks to you. And just in time for sunrise, too. <sighs> now, this... This is Elvira. The great disks that hold aloft our cities above the islands. <laughs> yes, Elvira isn't the islands. Elvira is above the islands. Cities built on stone disks held aloft by a stone column each. And there's no way to climb up or get down alive for those who don't have wings. <laughs> well, of course. That way no one but avians and those of the air may enter or leave the city of birds. <laughs> as much as I would love to take you into the archives, the city was built in the air for uh, a reason. It would not only be terrible for you, but I would be accused of letting in a potential threat as well. Also, I would have to be seen with you dressed like that. Orange may be your family color, but it's definitely not your color. That's for certain. I would need special permissions from the higher-ups to let you in. And the only way they will consider that is if you are an outlander. Meaning, not belonging to Montel in any way, shape, or form. Don't even, like, say the word Montel up there. So yeah, all the House Ragnus paraphernalia needs to go, child of Ragnus. Here, if you give it to me, I'll give it a proper burial. Right after I step on it, curse it, rip it, tell your ancestors to fuck off, and then burn it. But then feed the ashes to a lemur or some shit. We're in the jungle, they have those. Oh yes, how rude of me. I assumed a lemur would want to eat such shitty clothing. They probably have better taste anyway. But yes, that's as close to a proper burial as any half-blood who knows your lineage would give you. Granted, it's not your fault the world is like this. But nor is it your ancestor Ragnus's. The First Lords were long dead before any of the Half-Bloods even showed up in Altera anyway. At least, that's what the Archive says. My family's Archive has documents going all the way back to when Half-Bloods first showed up. It's probably because we had wings. We can watch anything from the sky and no one would even know we're there. Well, unless they decided to look up. But yes. In fact, if our people were found by the First Lords, I'm sure our world would not be the way it is, according to the Archives. Back when Balthazar the Kind actually meant something. But the name has become synonymous with the Wicked, and so once again this world corrupted something that was supposed to be good. Something supposed to be... sacred. So, if you don't want to get ground into a fine powder and scattered off the edge of the discs, you better ditch that identity. The only way you might get in is if I claim that you're an outlander under my control who will be working as my thrall in the archives. But even that is a long shot. However, I see no better option. Plus, if you do get into our archives, you can find out a little bit more about your... imposter situation. I'm sure you're just dying to know who's out there living your boring life. <laughs> but, with these wings of mine, I have very little sway in the decisions of our people. Hmm? Yes, my... my wings. The wings you so graciously took care of for me. You see, the society of Elvira has changed, much like that of Montel, across our archived history. Our political power and structure and status is determined by the natural beauty of one's wings. As you can see, I have the wings of your common bird. Nothing flashy or demanding of status, but wings nonetheless. 
Over years and years of birth records, half-bloods have been known to have certain... strange birth patterns. Usually, children will inherit the half-blood features of either mother or father, or something a little bit of both. But very rarely, and I mean rarely, a half-blood child of any type has the chance of being born... How do I say... A bit more... Uh, eccentric than the likes of their father and mother. Take the legend of Sendeverus Dirian, for example. The first dragon. Bird mother, lizard father, the child contained an extreme cross of both where he resembled neither. Gained unique traits to boot. Or like the stories of a kraken man in the dark depths. Both of his parents were likely just two merfolk of Aquinas, nothing outstanding or ordinary, but these things have been known to happen. The meat of the story is, some people, some half-bloods, are born... different. In other places, like Aquinas, the king will probably exile you for being too different. Or even in Montel, they'll probably stick you in a zoo or an aquarium. But here, in Elvira, the beauty and uniqueness of one's wings determines everything. Some people are just born with naturally pretty wings, and that gets them far here. But when this rare effect happens to an avian, it makes them almost like into a god here. I'm exaggerating a little bit, obviously. One woman was born with the feathers as blue as an aquamarine gemstone. Matching eyes as well. It really ties in the look. It's... I can see why they like her. Um... But yeah, another man was born with the wings of a scarlet macaw. He's basically a celebrity by birth due to that. It's traits like that that give an avian a seat on the Sky Council. They're given status and raised to be the future leaders of Elvira, given the best education, sent to the best schools, given the best training in combat, just everyday things. They're treated like royalty and they could be born to a commoner. It's what makes Elvira unique. But, and don't say I told you this, but rumor has it that a man with the wings of a phoenix has been sighted. I don't know if it is true or not, but the council fears that if these rumors are true, and if this guy decides to come live in Elvira one day, that one of them will definitely lose their seat on the council. The wings of a phoenix could easily pass up anyone sitting there right now. But who can really say for sure if we can believe such rumors alone. But, in contrast to those of the Council, my wings are... normal. So, my family has been tasked with bookkeeping and archiving. For years and years and years. Granite, avians with regular colored wings aren't mistreated in any manner. It's just... some win the lottery of birth. But, I mean, anything is better than being born a human, am I right? I mean, look at you, all wingless and shit. Ha, must suck. Yeah, so anyway, you'll stay here on the beach, and I'll fly up, drop off my books, bring you some better clothes, and see if you pass good enough for a thrall. They may need to put a, a glyph on you or two for security insurance reasons. If they do, say yes. So, uh... Fingers crossed, huh? Uh, oh, and remember, if they find out you lived in Montel, you have a roughly 9 out of 10 chance of dying a horrifying death at the hands of some long talon buzzard guard that may or may not end with you getting dropped off the disc while you are alive or dead. Doesn't matter, depends on how the night goes. But with that being said, I'm gonna go check in. Anyway, turtles! Oh, yeah.
soon. It's over with my ass. It's over with my ass.